Just thought I'd uh, thought I'd talk about this for uh, a bit. I've been thinking of uh, making this video. I've legitimately thought of deleting my channel, of just getting rid of it and everything on there. Not because I'm depressed or anything, but because I kind of don't use it. it. Seems like the most sensible option, but there's been another thing. As you guys know, I've I have a small channel. I've barely a blip on YouTube's uh, YouTube's radar. And uh, how should I put this nicely? I feel like if I were to continue this channel, even with all the passion I put into it, without the proper money or even the uh, explosive personality, which I definitely do not have, I wouldn't be able to do anything. And uh, if you guys are wondering why I look like this, I just got over uh, COVID, or rather the COOF, and uh, a disease that came after it. Pleurisy. God, pleurisy sucked worse, I swear. Ugh, it just made breathing so much harder. Anyway. Due to my ADHD-based tendencies, I've been ignoring this channel quite a bit. I mean... Hell, I, I'm, I'm currently playing KOTOR right now. This was kind of a last minute thought, and. Um, it was the last minute thought to make the video, but I have legitimately. I have legitimately thought of um, getting rid of this channel. Mainly because it just seems kind of pointless. I honestly had fun making this channel for a very long time and a lot of the times when I just had blackout moments is when I just kind of forgot about it or when I felt like I wasn't having fun or even the idea of what was even the point and even so with uh, recent terms of service changes that what's even the point anymore sort of a thing is proving it to be more true YouTube's becoming more um authoritarian with how they uh, deal with all these different things they they want to block different types of speech you got kid-friendly content well you're not getting any ads from us oh you have two adult content oh you oh no 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 no, no money from us no none none at all uh, you want to continue making videos on this you want to be monetized okay 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 um how about this how about you get a website a full website as expensive as that is have your own damn website, or better yet, a sponsor who can take all the money from you. It's just, oh. I personally believe that a person is, well, deserving of the labor, of the sweat of their brow, so to speak. I believe that whatever a person has worked for, they deserve. And the amount of labor that they put into working for it should quantify what they get. Something like that. And quite honestly, I haven't been earning any way of how to get that monetization. I've just been more focused with getting like a real world job, dealing with my own mental health and problems, some um, more physical health issues as well, and uh, what what new game's gonna drag me away, or what anime is just gonna catch my eye for a second. Quite simply speaking, allow me to put it to you like this. I'm the modern day equivalent of some street performer on the corner of the sidewalk. I'm just the guy who takes his hat off and throws it to the ground and do whatever I do for some money to just be inflicted to the hat. And what YouTube is doing, I mean, and what I've been doing is the equivalent of just not showing up or just, you know, forcing myself to show up. And, uh, well, YouTube, in a sense, anytime I've actually wanted to show up has been acting like a roadblock or road construction, so to speak. If I've actually wanted to come back and I've actually had fun with it in the past, YouTube's put up some new guidelines. Like, say, um, you can't perform this song in public, or we're going to be taking this amount of money from what you have in your hat. It's very hard to speak about, you know? I mean, if you were to actually look at my channel, I'm practically dead in the water. 
And in a sense, this would be the equivalent of a uh, street performer kind of not showing up because they just don't feel it anymore with all the changes in their lives and in their channels and whatnot. I really... I, uh, if I actually had the fire in me, I'd want to continue this. But then again, if I had the fire... I wouldn't just be doing my YouTube channels. Hell no. I'd be staying up until the late hours of the night creating my own comic series. Well, screw that. Series. Plural. Plural. Well, um... How do I say this nicely? I don't have that fire. I don't know if that's because I'm autistic or if I have ADHD or if it's just the changing world around me and all the insanity that just gets harder to deal with every second... I don't know. I really don't. I can tell you this. With more people going crazy in this world, it's it's going to be getting a lot harder to feel that fire, you know? And even then, I can't blame the rest of the world for that. I just... I don't get it. I don't get it with me. It's like I just need the right amount of distractions in order to get that fire going. The right type of distractions, too. If I get too distracted, then I'm not going to do anything. If I don't get distracted enough, then I'm not going to do anything. It's it's a vicious cycle. I kind of noticed this. I look like a 30-year-old man. <laughs> oh, boy. Sorry, sorry. It's, it's this thing about me. If I ever get too into a subject, I crack a joke or something, whether it's self-deprecating or if it's a bit of dry humor. But even so, I'm not Jacksepticeye. I'm not critical. I'm not anybody, really. Hell, I'm not even Razor Fist. So, my channel is kind of screwed unless I can actually find that fire again. It's a hard thing, you know. When you actually start out something and then just kind of... When you start out with something and you get that fire burning, that idea is just surging in your head like it's a bill, like it's a huge bolt of lightning just dancing amongst the clouds. Then next thing you know, it fizzles out. That's sadly where I'm at. I don't know where to continue with this. I really don't. Do whatever you guys want. I'm not going to tell you to stay, or if I'm not going to, and I'm not going to tell you to leave. If you guys want to stick around and see if I can actually muster something up with whatever tech I got, I'm not going to blame you. I, I'd appreciate it, but I wouldn't blame you if you left. I'll see you guys later.